Everyone remembers where they were when the confetti fell, and everyone had their own personal connection to the national championship. But for the lone player wearing a suit in that pile, there was a contribution you may not know about. Dante DiVincenzo found a way to do his part while recovering from a broken foot early in the year, which appeared to derail the freshman season that had a promising start. And I've really never been hurt seriously before that. And uh, the hardest thing was dealing with it mentally. I mean, the pain, the pain is one thing, but knowing that you can't be out there playing and doing what you love is the biggest challenge. Kind of took a couple minutes just to figure out how I helped the team after that, because I was so worried about just getting back on the court. So time on the sideline became time in the basketball classroom. But sometimes when you're behind and you're pressing with a smaller lineup, you have that lineup in the game because you don't have any timeouts left. Yeah. So you got that lineup in the game. You got to know that lineup's got to know what to do. There's no drawing up something tricky in a huddle. It's something we're drawing it up, but we've worked on it a hundred times, right? So I never want to put you guys in a situation where I'm showing you something in a huddle during a game that you're seeing for the first time, right? That's not that's not really fair to the players. I mean. We're learning different situations that what happened in the game, but also we're learning that coach has a lot of trust in us. Um, and talking to him like that one-on-one, -on -one, you see that even more because you never want coach to not be on you because that's when you really start to worry. But when coach is on you, you know that he has confidence in you and he wants you to be the best player that you can be. Just play the ball, Dante. No blow by, Dante. No blow by. Load, head turn. Head turn. Stay down, stay down. He could have come back for maybe a little over half the year. He probably would have been healthy. It's such a hard decision to make. If you're going to come back for two thirds of the year, it's easy. But it's it's so hard. So it was it was tough because he got healthy at a point in the year, uh, maybe February, where he knew he could have played a lot more games. It was a really difficult year for him. But what was amazing is he had such an impact on that season because he brought it every day in practice. Never more so than as the Wildcats prepared to face the National Player of the Year at the Final Four in Houston. I think everybody on our staff, uh, in our program, would, would definitely uh, call to mind the Oklahoma game, just preparing for Buddy Heald a second time. Uh, I can't imagine many teams in the country have a guy sitting out that could mimic Buddy Heald as well as Dante did. And, and Dante had some great moments in our practices leading up to that game. I mean, he's a terrific player, so you can't emulate what he's done. But uh, knew his tendencies, and whether it worked or didn't work, I just tried to perform what he does, um, so to give him an in-game look at what he does. He was incredible. It turned out he was tougher to guard in our practices than Buddy Heald. And we were saying, wow, we can't guard Dante DiVincenzo. We can't guard him. How are we going to guard Buddy Heald? We did a better job on Buddy Hill. Maybe he watched a little bit of tape of Buddy Hill because he he played it to a T and, and that allowed us to prepare and, and be ready and focused going into that game. And he did he did a great job. And we were prepared for that Oklahoma game because of Dante DiVincenzo. I knew that I was a part of something all year, but once we got to the final four and I saw that those guys were executing defensively and we came in at the end of the game and they all looked at me and told me how well I got them prepared. That's when I really felt like I was actually giving something to the team. It's really heartwarming for me to see that he knows he, he, he really had a good year last year and now he's enjoying this year. There's plenty to enjoy. Playing more than 20 minutes per game, DiVincenzo is showing Nova Nation the skills that have made him an impact player at both ends of the floor. And his development this season is pointed in a single direction, with the pedal pressed down to the metal. Creating and instilling an aggressiveness within him is one of the most important things we do this year. And we know he'll do anything we ask, but we don't want to cloud his mind with different things each game. I think that the message from coach will be to be aggressive because he's always had the mentality of team. Anybody that 
you know, saw Dante in Delaware. He was the Michael Jordan of Delaware and uh, two-time state champion, two-time player of the year. You would be amazed if you knew him as that kind of player when you really see what he's like. He is the consummate team player. He is almost unselfish to a fault. He's willing to play defense. He takes pride in his defense, rebound, do all the little things. Always thinking about his teammates, never about himself. A really valuable guy that um, has an incredible potential because of his talent, but his humility and his, his commitment to team. It, it's, a, it's a unique combination. He took a step back to leap forward. And though the experience of a national title will live with Dante forever, the understanding of how to play Villanova basketball and the core values he's made his own are what he carries onto the court with him each day. I know that we always say we play for the ones that came before us, but those guys who worked every single day, three hour practices, four hour practices, whatever it was, that's our motivation because we're not worried about wins and losses. Uh, we're worried about playing hard together and playing with pride. And if we know that at the end of the year, there's gonna be a loss and we come in the locker room and we know that everybody gave it up for one another. We know that the guys that played before us are watching the game knowing the same exact thing and that's what we take pride in.